The Alliance for Aquatic Resource Monitoring, or ALARM, has created a protocol that enables volunteers to collect baseline data on their streams and test for possible stream impacts from shale gas development. Before monitoring a new site, factors such as safety and accessibility need to be considered. In addition, the first time you monitor, you will need to follow a few extra steps, such as finding your site's GPS coordinates. Once you've identified a safe and accessible monitoring location, it's time to begin monitoring. First, visually assess your stream for physical changes and impacts. A full list of possible impacts can be found on our website and include earth disturbances, spills, and discharges. If there are access roads or a well pad near your monitoring site, check that erosion and sedimentation control measures are in place and are working. You may also note the conditions of vegetation or aquatic life at your site, as this will help build baseline data. As you collect baseline data on your site, you will be able to recognize if something is out of the ordinary. Alarm recommends that you take a picture of your site once a season in order to have a reference point of how your site changes throughout the year. If you do see something out of the ordinary, take a picture of the occurrence and follow Alarm's visual assessment decision tree to find the correct agency to contact. The decision trees in Alarm's shell gas manual will help you find what agency is responsible for responding to an incident. Decision trees include information for both possible physical and chemical impacts. Changes in your stream stage or water depth can be recorded from the stream or from a bridge. Your stream's size and accessibility, your comfort in the water, and personal preference factor into whether you will want to monitor stage from in the stream or from a bridge. Enter the water downstream of your monitoring site. Walk upstream to avoid disturbing sediment in the stream bed. The first time you monitor, find an identifiable point in the stream such as against a large boulder or tree that you will be able to find and come back to. It is important that once you pick a location, you monitor your stream stage from the same point each week. Place your gauge stick in the stream, touching the gauge stick to the bottom of the stream bed. Record the value shown on the stick at the water's surface. If there is a bridge near your monitoring site, you can monitor stage and take samples from the bridge instead of entering the stream. Mark a fixed point on the bridge above the middle of your stream. With a tape measure, measure the distance from the water surface to the fixed point on the bridge. This distance is your stage value. It is important to note while measuring stage from a bridge will not give you the water depth of your stream, you will be able to track changes in water depth or stage just as accurately. Depending on your site, you may be able to install a permanent staff gauge in the stream to record stage from. Similar to measuring stage, there are multiple methods for collecting chemical measurements on your site. Enter the water downstream of your monitoring site, walking upstream to collect your measurements. If you are using a stream testing bottle, fill and rinse the bottle three times, dumping the water downstream of you each time, before taking your sample from the middle of the water column. Using a calibrated meter, record conductivity and total dissolved solids measurements. Extension poles can be made fairly cheaply and may make taking a water sample more convenient for you. Remember to rinse the stream bottle three times as before. If you monitor from a bridge, use a bucket attached to a rope to collect water samples. As before, be sure to dump the bucket three times downstream of your monitoring site. You can take measurements from the bucket with your calibrated meter. Alarm's Quality Assurance Quality Control program ensures reliable data collection techniques and functioning equipment. Alarm's shell gas volunteers submit samples to Alarm's lab twice a year to be tested via split sample analysis. These samples are then submitted to a state certified lab for barium and strontium analysis. Similar to collecting water in a stream sampling bottle, Collect your QAQC sample by filling and rinsing the QAQC bottle three times, dumping downstream before filling and capping your bottle. This can be done either from in the stream, from a bridge, or from a stream bank. If you have questions about Alarm's shell gas monitoring program or monitoring techniques, or would like to participate in the program as a volunteer, please contact us. Thanks.